Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play back to or record from your phone in Reaper. So I have a project set up here and I've been mixing it for a while and now I want to check the mix on a phone just to see how the mix translates using phone speakers. And we could do this with Reaper if we use a third party app or plugin. So let's go to our browser and search Sono Bus. Then we can click this link, which will take us to this website, sonobus.net. Now, this software is available for Mac, PC, and Linux, along with working with an iPhone or an Android device. So, in addition to downloading it for our computer, we also need to download the app for our phone, obviously. Now, the best thing about this software is that it's 100% free and open source. So it can be used for not just this purpose, but also for collaborating with other musicians online and even recording them using multi-channel audio. But we're gonna focus on just using it to hear our mixes for now. If you wanna get much deeper into the Sonobus software, I would recommend checking out this YouTube channel over here, The Bengineer. He has a whole bunch of more in-depth videos on this software. So once the software is downloaded and installed, we can go back and reopen Reaper. And again, this is a mix I spent a bit of time on and now I wanna reference it and see how it sounds on a phone. On my speakers, right now it sounds like this. And I've mixed it with my faders to get it to sound just right, at least with my speakers. But to hear it on our phone, we'll go up here to the view menu and choose to view the master track, assuming it's not already open. Then we'll go to the effects on the master track. And as you can see, I'm already using a few, but that's okay. We're going to put this plugin at the end of our chain. Just double click over here and we'll search Sono, and the plugins show up over here. Now there's two versions that'll go up to 18 channels, but we don't need that. So I'm just gonna choose this one. Double click it, and it looks like this. Now we don't need to send multi-channel audio, so I'm gonna change this to stereo. Then we're gonna hit the button Connect, which allows us to create different groups to use, a private group or a public group, and as you can see, some public groups might show up in here that you can join. We're gonna use a private group or create one. Now I do wanna mention, in order for this to work, we do need our computer and our phone to be on the same local network. We can randomize the name of our group right here. We'll just type in a name we want. I'm gonna use Reaper and create a password right here. Then we'll hit connect, and we're connected to that private group. Then we're gonna to go to our phone. And after we downloaded the application, we'll just choose it right here. And it opens up and looks like this. And we can see by default, it's gonna mute the input, which is what we want. We don't need the input on our phone going to Reaper. We just want it to go from Reaper back to the phone. So in fact, we could also mute the phone send right here. So now we'll choose connect right here. And let's join a private group, type Reaper, and our password. And then we'll connect. Then we're going to choose over here to disable sending. Because like I said, we don't want to send audio from our phone to Reaper, just from Reaper to the phone. So we'll disable sending right here. Then we'll go back to Reaper and choose the send quality. I like to use PCM 16-bit as the other versions, I think, compress the audio, which we don't want to do, as it encodes it and decodes it, which could make the latency a bit longer. Choose 16-bit, 
and we should be ready to go. And I'm going to turn down the volume on my speakers, and we should hear the audio on our phone. Let's see. And it works. And remember, we can now fine tune our mix to make it sound best on a phone. We could open up our mixer and rebalance our levels. and we're happy with it, we could turn this off and our effects right over here. Just bypass the plugin and we're just gonna hear it on our speakers. If you wanna double check it back on our phone, just go back here, turn the plugin back on and now we're gonna hear it on our phone. Kind of helpful for referencing our mixes. But we could also go the other way, recording through our phone. Let's open up a new Reaper project right here. Let's create a new track, name it Telephone, put it into Record, set our input to be None, go to the Track Effects, and choose that same plugin, which looks like this. Go to Connect It connect to that same group. And we don't need to send from the computer. So we can disable sending right here and just send from our phone. Go back to the phone, make sure disabled sending is turned off. Now we can't set up our phone as a recording input going into this track, but because it's coming in on the effects plugin, we can just record the output instead. Right here, Record output, output mono. And we should turn down our monitor speakers so we don't get feedback as we try this. Now we can unmute our mic and we should see level on the track. And we do. But again, keep your monitors turned down. So now we can record audio from our phone, which is useful for a phone interview or just if you don't have a mic. Just go into record and start recording. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I'm now recording with my iPhone. Now we should bypass our plugin, bring up our speakers and hear it back. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I'm now recording with my iPhone. Perfect. And just like that, we're using our iPhone as a mic for recording phone calls or interviews or just to replace our mic in a pinch. So that's pretty much it. That's how to play back to or record from your phone in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.